I absolutely think finding out early was good. You can't make a decision about what to do if you don't know that something needs to be done in the first place. There's pros and cons. Once he got his hearing aids at that young of an age, sometimes it was hard to, to hold him close because I was so worried about the, the whistling and I finally just learned that it's okay when we're cuddling to take out the hearing aids and let him still have that bonding time. So there were pros and cons, but overall I'm so grateful we found out when we did. I already kind of knew myself because when I was deaf and he was deaf and I, he was born, I kept watching him and you know, I kind of knew and I kind of felt like he was. And I took him to the doctor, found out he was deaf. He was about nine months old. But I believe that he was deaf before that time, probably when he was born. I felt really wonderful because I'm deaf myself and I knew that the communication and the interaction would be wonderful between us. We found out about Kate's hearing loss uh, at her birth. Uh, the, our pregnancy was completely normal. We didn't expect any problems, but when she was born, she was born without ears. She has microtia, and so it was very clear to us and the doctors that something was not right. They didn't know what the extent of her uh, problems were, but they did know clearly since she didn't have outer ears that there was uh, a problem with her ears. The benefits of finding out early were I had time to begin to process what this meant for CJ, what this was going to mean for us as a family, and to begin looking into what my resources were. The other great thing about finding out early was that we were able to tap into ECI services from day one, and because their services were there, they were right on top of where he should be developmentally, and they were able to tell us when it seemed like he was missing a milestone so we could work on that. So he didn't have as much opportunity to fall behind. I think it was very helpful to us to have learned about Kate's hearing, a, a hearing loss upon her birth. Uh, we immediately were able to, even in the hospital, start beginning to meet with uh, professionals uh, and experts. Um, we were able to meet with a geneticist who diagnosed Kate with Golden Heart Syndrome when she was only a week old. And it allowed myself and my husband to spend a significant amount of time on the internet researching what we needed to do, um, what we could what we could do about Golden Har, who potential specialists were in the country, how we could possibly help our daughter. Um, the other thing that helped us the most about learning about Kate's uh, problems at such an early age was the fact that we were able to talk to all the nurses in the. Uh, in the NICU and finally one of them had actually mentioned to us you know that we might be interested in calling ECI to get some help from them with early childhood intervention and that they might be a good resource to us for finding out people in the in our area in our community that could actually help Kate as well um, and so luckily we were able to get in touch with ECI and had our very first appointment at when Kate was only three weeks old, which had um, you know, considerably sped up what we could do, any kind of remediation or any kind of help that we could provide Kate as quickly as possible. 